Hello everybody, it's me, Bear Jubonk, and before I begin, I just want to say I'm sick right now, so if I don't sound too good, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm just, I just don't have the voice like I normally do. So I hope you guys can go with that entire video without my gloriously booming voice. <clears throat> so this will be my last Modern Warfare 2 video, and I decided to go out with a bang and get you guys a tactical noob using the cheapest thing possible in this game. Infinite noob tubes with uh, Danger Close Pro Power Chopper Gunner. And I'm going to use this last video and the remaining six minutes left to talk about how completely and utterly crap this game is compared to Call of Duty 4. Call of Duty 4 was a balanced and fair map that had a couple of bad maps. But overall the gameplay was fair and it was a fun game. Very fun game. You didn't get frustrated playing it. Modern Warfare 2 on the other hand is the incarnate of the devil in a way that it can make any person get angry. That's to say, though, that there's hundreds of reasons for this to happen. Now, let's see, where should I start my complaining? Let's talk about the terrible map design and the spawning. I don't know what happened at this, this time, Infinity Ward, but apparently your spawn system decided to go to hell and everyone with it. Because if you're, I don't know what happens, but for some reason, the enemy, every time you advance too far into their spawn, which teaches you a lesson, I guess, they will spawn behind you and you will kill you, and there's nothing you can do. You can be the most amazing player in the world, but they'll still kill you. What else? <clears throat> every gun in this game is overpowered. The, especially the assault rifles. If you burst fire an assault rifle, you can snipe anybody. S snipers... While side of hand pro may help a ton, they're they're nowhere near as good as what they used to be, especially in compared to COD 2. <clears throat> map design. I say there are about three good maps in this game. This is one of them. I believe it's uh, Rundown is the name. This is one of those good maps. Invasion is the other one, and then Wasteland is a third one, but that's up to debate because it's just easier to do use your kill streaks for. Modern Warfare 2 is a game where the whole objective is to gain the highest possible kill streak and rape the other team with it. <clears throat> Simply because air support is so incredibly overpowered. There's 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 not much else you can say. <clears throat> Chopper gunners, AC-130, Pavlo, Harrier. Now I'm gonna talk to you about a real life experience I've had. As we all know, the Harrier is a seven kill streak, six if you're using hardline. But this kill streak has the ability to get you eight kills. No, more. It can get you ten. I've I've seen it get ten. Right, right, right. Ground war. Basically, what happened is that a Harrier came in and carpet bombed a team. A carpet bomb in a, in the Call of Duty sense is an airstrike that gets you five kills. Now that's all fine and dandy, but then the Harrier was still going around shooting down people, shooting down people, shooting at people, and they didn't shoot it at it. They didn't shoot it down. It was just there. It was killing people, and this guy got his chopper gunner, and he got a nuke, and he ended the game. But well, anyways, the, the chopper in COD 4 never had this problem, and the spawn system in COD 4 may have not been the greatest spawn system ever, but at least people didn't spawn behind you. Yeah. <sighs> This game just is designed to frustrate people as much as possible. Let's see, what else should I talk about? Oh yeah, the only balanced kill streaks in my opinion are the attack helicopter, predator missile. None of the care packages simply because the care package can get you some outrageous kill streak like a Pavlo chopper gunner and AC-130. Hmm. Emergency airdrop, of course, not balanced at all. Because, you know, getting two chopper gunners, a pay of low, and an AC-130 can just completely change the course of the game, and you only have to get eight kills for it. Or you can be a douche and be abusing the infinite care package glitch, which is all the rage now. Which brings me into my next topic. Why the hell is this game so glitchy? How come there are so many abusive glitches? There's my tactical nuke for those who were keeping count, by the way. How come... Modern Warfare, the original one, may have not had as many glitches... Well. It had glitches where you could get out of the map and you could jump higher by using an RPG, but it didn't have anything to the likes where you could simply just, you know, call in infinite care packages. I don't. 
Infinite Care Package is the bane of my existence, and it seems to be popular on Xbox 360. Especially in Sabotage. Sabotage is completely unplayable now. Hmm, what else? Should, what else? What else? What else? What else? What else? Besides overpowered air support, killstreaks... I don't know if I mentioned the community, but just because everyone's anonymous on Xbox Live, I don't, I've never really played PS3 online. I, I may own a PS3, but it's essentially the family Blu-ray player. But because everyone is so anonymous, so anonymous, because everyone is anonymous, the horrible, horrible things people say, and the, illiter and the illiteracy rate, stuttering while saying illiterate is cool, by the way, the illiteracy rate is just terrible. My name is Bearjubonk. How difficult is it to say that? Not boink, not rar, roar, bear, jubonk. I mean... I've had this name since before Bloody and Glorious Bastards came out. <sighs> hmm. So yeah, plus one-man army noob tubes, you know, just overpowered as all hell. So yeah, Commando Pro, lightweight, marathon, knifing, overpowered as hell in my opinion. Because, you know, they can just run through any claymore because they have super speed. And same goes for care package running. I, I honestly... Don't care if Infinity War nerfs that, but just the fact that they can go through a claymore before it gets to explode just pisses me off beyond all belief. Because I don't, I don't know how many 24 killstreaks I've had that's been ruined by some douchebag with a knife. So yeah, I call in my nuke and I end my career playing Modern Warfare 2, and hopefully the new maps will either include old Modern Warfare 1 maps with a decent spawning system, or the new Modern Warfare 2 maps will be decent. So I hope everyone enjoys. They can continue playing Modern Warfare 2. I'm going to find something else to play. Take care, everybody. This is B Bear Jubonk signing out. And enjoy this broken game for as long as it lasts.